<laughs> reflection is reflecting over the y or x axis. And from your pre-image, when you reflect over the y axis, your x and y go from x, y to negative x, y. And then whenever you reflect over the y axis, it goes from x, y to x, negative y. And for oh. over the x axis, it would go from x, y to x, negative y. I see. to plot it at 0, negative 1 here, 2, negative 1 here, and 0, 4, which makes a whole new triangle, but the points are moved down 2. I went to boys' locker room. Best what you have to do is you have to take your pre-image and take the coordinates and multiply them times the scale factor. So, for example, here we have scale factor equals two. So for our pre-image, we have coordinates three two. We multiply each, we multiply the x and the y by two, and we get six four. We plot that. We get p prime. Um, for 3, 4, plus plot times 2, you get 6, 8, and z prime, x prime, whatever you want to label it as. 3, do the same thing. 5, 3 goes to 10, 6, and you plot that as well. So you go from your pre image to your prime image. Rotations is basically whenever your pre-image rotates around each of the axes. So, for if you rotate your image 90 degrees, it will go from x, y to ne negative x, negative y, x. So, here in the example, 2, 2 will go to negative 2, 2, 6, 2 will become negative 2, 6, and 2, 8 will become negative 8, 2. And if you were to rotate it 180 degrees in the orange, it will go from x, y to negative x, negative y. So 2, 2 would then become negative 2, negative 2. 6, 2 would then become neg negative 6, negative 2. And 2, 8 would become negative 2, negative 8. And the last rotation is if you rotate it 270 degrees, it will become from x, y to y, negative x. So then your coordinate 2, 2 will become 2, negative 2. 6, 2 would then become 2, negative 6, and 2, 8 would become 8, negative 2. And that's them rotating all across the axis. Are you recording me now? <laughs>